Hi, my name's Emily. I'm in the third year of my PhD here at UEA in Literary Translation. So I research the translation of transgender identity. And this is the topic that I got into actually doing my dissertation. So I did my MA in Literary Translation also here at UEA in 2012-2013. And for my dissertation, I did a translation with commentary of a 17th century French memoir written by a transvestite priest. So um, this guy, or well, I say guy, this person um, was called Francois Timon de Choisy and what he does before each episode where he writes about his life is that he, he uses a masculine voice but then he takes on a feminine voice and this is something that you can do in French because they have masculine and feminine grammatical gender. So for example you can actually write a sentence where one moment you're masculine and one moment you're feminine. And what my translation did was it experimented with what on earth you do with this in English because we just don't have that. Um, and my PhD research basically carries on this idea of, of looking at shifting gender identity and not just sort of how you translate an extra E in French or an O or an A in Spanish, whether it's masculine or feminine, but it, it kind of looks at a much bigger picture than that. But I look at six texts in total. There are six fictional and non-fictional, um, what I term trans memoirs. So two are transgender, two are intersex, and two are agender. They st one starts in the 17th century and it goes right through to the 21st century. So I've got a very big spread of texts and times, and they're French, Spanish, and English. I look at the translation from French and Spanish into English, but also English into French and Spanish. So. They are texts whose protagonists either have a shifting gender identity, so sometimes they're masculine, sometimes they're feminine, and also texts whose protagonists have no gender identity at all. So for example, I look at, in my final chapter, I look at two texts, one French, one English, whose protagonists have no gender at all. And it's really interesting to see like, how that is dealt with um, in an original text in French, because obviously that's something that's very clever. You have to use a lot of strategies to get around showing gender. Um, so what my research basically looks at is is not just what you act, what you literally do as a translator with these masculine and feminine shifts or with no gender at all, but sort of what the, the ways that translation and trans identity can actually learn from each other, because I, I suggest that they you know actually have quite a lot of things in common. Um, to me, all of my texts and all of the protagonists within them are undecidable. Um, so basically. You know, that no decision should be made about whether they're masculine or feminine, whether they're neither, whether they're both, and no decision should be made about the genre of the text. And that, to me, that demonstrates that actually all texts and all bodies are in some way undecidable. And translation is is a really great medium to to look at the idea of undecidability because translation is a continuation of the source text. It it's sort of a way of making it not necessarily undecidable, but it's a way of sort of unfinishing the source text and showing that actually this sort of perfect text, which, you know, has two covers, isn't over. It's not as finished as you think it is. Um, and so what I'm, what I'm sort of trying to discuss is the fact that, that translation and transgender identity, which is sort of perceived to be on the margins of, of sort of original writing and normal gender identity, actually show show that these things that they are, they are marginal to are not as as stable and as safe perhaps as as people might think um, so yeah i argue that translation and trans identity they're sort of they're often perceived as as masquerades um, but actually the things that they masquerade they they sort of show that the things they masquerade as are are themselves masquerades so normal gender original writing